The beautiful city of Nagoya is Japan's fourth largest city, and like the other cities in the country, it is rich in history and culture, with food that comes from all over Japan and has many wonderful attractions to discover. If you're planning a trip to Nagoya, here's how you can spend three days to see everything that it has to offer. If you arrive at Nagoya Station in the morning, there's no better way to start off your visit than by having a Nagoya morning. At many cafes in Nagoya, if you order a coffee in the morning, you'll often be given a piece of toast and boiled egg free of charge. This is often referred to as the Nagoya morning or Nagoya morning service. Many locals enjoy having their breakfast this way, so consider it as a welcome gift to the city. Check out one of Nagoya's most popular coffee chains called Komeda Coffee for your Nagoya morning. You can find about 5 of them around Nagoya Station. After breakfast, it's off to visit Nagoya Castle. Known for its breathtaking architecture and design, this castle is worth visiting even if you've already visited other castles in Japan. The area is huge as you might expect, but if you head to the central area, you'll find the famous Honmaru Palace which is worth checking out for the design and woodwork alone. If you're a fan of museums and art, your next stop will be the Tokugawa Art Museum. It houses artifacts like swords and armor that belong to the Owari family, who were the rulers of Nagoya in the past. Coming here from the castle gives you a better understanding of the history and culture of Nagoya, so if you're interested in these topics, I highly recommend visiting here. If you need a stroll to digest everything that you've just seen and heard about the history, next to the art museum is the beautiful Tokugawa Garden. Visitors from all over the world come here to enjoy a stroll with its central pond and bridges. Your last stop for the day is to head to the Sakai District, the downtown area of Nagoya where loads of shopping and dining opportunities await you. If you're looking to get some food and continue experiencing Nagoya's culture, consider joining the Nagoya Meshi Food Tour. This 3-hour tour takes you around Sakai District to sample local foods like the Miso Nikomi Udon, a hearty and comforting noodle soup where chicken, fish cake and udon noodles are simmered in miso-flavoured broth. The Hitsumabushi, a popular and traditional food in Nagoya which uses grilled eel in a sticky and sweet sauce, served on steamed white rice along with some condiments. The Tebasaki, which is Japanese chicken wings coated with a glaze made with garlic, ginger and black pepper. And last but not least, the Ebi Senbei or Shrimp Rice Carcass and so much more. The tour costs about $100 per person and is conducted in English, German or Japanese. The link to the Nagoya Meshi Food Tour is in the comments below. Start off your second day in Nagoya by heading to the Toyota Commemorative Museum of Industry and Technology. Here you'll learn about how Toyota first started as a small weaving company before growing into the world famous car maker it is today. You'll also be able to see the machines in action, like how the robot arms move to assemble the cars in production. They have a section that teaches you about the science of manufacturing, like how the raw materials are transformed into their final versions before assembly. There's definitely a lot of fun, exciting facts to learn here, so I highly recommend taking the guided tour which is available in English. There are also audio guides in various languages, including German, English and Japanese, that provide you with a ton of background info. Next, head to Atsuta Shrine. It is one of the most important shrines in Japan and is dedicated to the goddess of fertility, Amaterasu. The shrine's history dates back 1900 years and is known for its beautiful gardens and its cultural significance. It is said to contain the sacred sword Kusanagi which is one of the three sacred treasures of Japan. You see the sword enshrined within the main building of the shrine known as the Honden. This sword is said to have been passed down through generations of Japanese emperors. Now it's time to recharge your energy with some food or shopping at the Osu Shopping Street. 
This is a popular district in the heart of Nagoya and has served locals and tourists alike for decades. Known for its mix of traditional and modern shops, local street food and entertainment, you'll definitely want to check out this place for yourself. If you've been wanting to shop for some unique souvenirs from Nagoya, you'll find a wide variety of shops selling everything from traditional crafts to electronics. For example, you could choose to bring home Japanese ceramics, local foods and snacks, and even a kimono if you want. On your last day in Nagoya, you can choose to head to the world-famous Legoland Japan theme park, or you can check out the Nagashima Resort, another theme park that's about 30 minutes away from Nagoya. Let's start with Legoland first, shall we? Known for its wide range of exciting rides, activities and attractions for families with kids. One of the most popular attractions here is Miniland, which is a miniature city replica of the world's most famous landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, Tokyo Tower, Mount Fuji, and so much more. There's no better way to get a feel of being a Godzilla than in Legoland Japan. Another popular attraction is the Ninjago World, based on LEGO's popular Ninjago franchise. Those who love the show will love being in this themed area which includes many rides like Ninjago the Ride, which lets you experience the thrill of being a ninja warrior. Make sure to get the express pass online or at the park to maximize your time and experience in Legoland Japan. Now, switching over to Nagashima Resort, you get to explore the amusement park that is one of the largest in Japan, with over 40 rides and attractions. Ranging from classic roller coaster rides and carousels to modern entertainment such as virtual reality rides. There's even a water park called the Nagashima Spa Land that features water slides, pools, and spa facilities. Also in the area, you can continue your shopping at the Mitsu Outlet Shopping Mall and visit a flower park called the Nabana no Sato. This flower park is one of the largest and most beautiful flower parks in Japan, featuring millions of flowers in bloom like tulips, cherry blossoms when in season, and many more. It is especially famous for its night illuminations that happens in October to May of every year. These are just some of the amazing things that you can see and do in Nagoya. Thanks again for watching this video. What is your favorite place to visit in Nagoya? Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as I have a ton of content coming your way. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.